Perfect. Back here on The Dean Show with Dr. Lawrence Brown, and we're giving the people the top eight reasons in this show why Jesus is not the Son of God, never claimed to be the Son of God, could not be the Son of God, and you're on a roll. You went from eight, now we're on four. Mm -hmm. Please mm -hmm. continue on. Okay, number four. Number four reason why Jesus Christ was not the Son of God, or why we should believe that Jesus Christ was not the Son of God, is that Jesus Christ did not call himself the Son of God. Okay, we have to believe that Jesus Christ was what he said he was. He never called himself... And he never the, called never. himself the Son of God. Okay. Okay? What do we have to back up that position? Okay, Hastings Bible Dictionary says, whether Jesus used it, the term Son of God, whether Jesus used it of himself is doubtful. Harper's Bible Dictionary says it even more clearly. Quote, Jesus never claims for himself the title Son of God. Now these are, these are from respected uh, Bible dictionaries and they are telling us that Jesus Christ never called himself the Son of God. Now I know what a lot of people out there are thinking. They're thinking, I read my Bible, I find Son of God. You have to understand that what the scholars are talking about are not what you find in your translation. What the scholars are talking about is what they find in the manuscripts from which the Bible is translated. Okay, it's a very important point. Uh, a person can translate a document to read whatever they want it to read. You have to go to the source documents to really understand what it says precisely. Okay, but even in your Bibles, even in your Bibles, you will find that Jesus never called himself the Son of God in a literal begotten, not made sense. So that's number four. That's number four. We're, Jump to number three. We got three left. There is... Uh, there's a statement among Christian missionaries. It's called the trilemma. All right? They come up to us and they say, look, Jesus was either a liar, he was a lunatic, or he was the son of God as he said he was. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, look, as Muslims we agree, Jesus Christ was not a liar, he was not a lunatic, he was exactly what he said he was, but where did he say that he was the son of God? He didn't. But what did he say he was? Reason number three. Jesus called himself, what? The Son of Man. Eighty-eight times. Go and count them. Eighty-eight times Jesus identified himself as the Son of Man. Not as the Son of God, as the Son of Man. The New Catholic Encyclopedia states, quote, This title is of special interest because it was the one employed by Jesus by preference to designate himself and his mission. Now that's the New Catholic Encyclopedia telling us that Jesus Christ employed the title Son of Man by preference to, de to designate himself and his mission. That's number three reasons why we should understand that Jesus Christ was not the Son of God. These are very simple and not complicated to understand. I want to get through these. That's the and, best. And I have a few important questions, very important questions I want to ask you. So continue on. We're going to number two now. Number two. Reasons why Jesus Christ, why we should realize he's not the Son of God. Jesus is identified in the New Testament 14 times, 14 times as the son of David. Who was Jesus' father? 
Was it David? No. No. We find in the book of Luke a list of genealogy from David, 41 generations until it works its way down to Jesus Christ. And even then, we have to remember that Jesus Christ didn't have a father. Okay? He was born by... He was born to the Virgin Mary as a divine miracle, a sign from God of, of, the, of the fact that he was a prophet. But in any case, we have David, 41 generations in the book of Luke, before we get to Jesus. If you look in Matthew, it's 26 generations. Let's not get hung up over the fact that Luke and Matthew can't agree. That's a different point to be made about the Bible. Let's just acknowledge that Jesus Christ is called the son of David 14 times in the Bible, and he most definitely was not the son of David. So what do we have here? If, if the Bible is saying literally that he was the son of David, the Bible is wrong. And you have to rectify an error in the Bible with your belief that the Bible is the word of God, because obviously God doesn't make a mistake. Or you have to recognize as we have already discussed, that in fact, the language is figurative. It is metaphorical. It is not meant to be taken literally. Now that's, that's, that's number that's two. That's number two. Now, people are going to have to hold up for number one, because I have to ask you a very serious question now, Dr. Brown. Now, someone might say, you know what? Okay, this sounds all good. You're making sense. But you know, from, from a child, you know, I've been brought up to believe that, you know, there's a big fat man, uh, Santa Claus coming down the chimney. I've been, I, I, I've been programmed to believe, you know, the uh, tooth fairy is going to come and, you know, uh, take my tooth under the pillow, et cetera, et cetera. We get programmed with a lot of things, you know. Some people grow out of that, all right. But now this, this is something that's even more serious. And they say, you know what, what's the big deal? I'll just, if I make a mistake, if this is wrong, on that day of judgment, I'll look God in the eye and I'll say, you know what, God, I'm sorry. And we'll take it from there. What do you got to say about that? Well, you know, I think that we've, uh, you know, we've touched on this before. I mean, the bottom line is that this life is our test. And with the end of this life, that's the end of the test. And there are no apologies later. In the same way that you can't go to your teacher at the end of your final exam and ask him to open the book and let you change it. You know, once the exam is done, once that exam book is closed, your, your deeds are done. In this life, when you die, that is the, that is the closure upon your deeds. And that, at that moment, you lose the ability to go back and fix anything. You can't. It's finished. This is your shot right now. Our shot. This is, this is what life is all about. Look, God could have taken all, all of us and put us in paradise directly if he wanted to. Or he could have taken us and put us in hellfire. But instead, he put us in this life with free will to choose our own direction and based upon our choices, based upon the path that we choose for ourselves, whether to be pious and righteous or not, that is going to sort out the people who go to paradise, the people who go to hell, and the degrees of their punishment and the degrees of their reward. Okay, yeah. but, but, but our, deeds, our deeds end when our lives end. Stay tuned and we will be back after the short break.